Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. We tend to think of Paris as a city that doesn't change. The tried and true things are still there to do, but often it's very difficult for that experience to live up to what we've imagined. Paris is so much more than its past. What I've tried to do is share a version of Paris that does better. It's innovative, it's creative, it's dynamic, and it really is a city of the future. Everyone comes to Paris to go to museums and iconic cultural centers, but this is a totally different immersive experience. Atelier des Lumières is a recent addition to the cultural scene. It's a digital art center in an old foundry in the 11th arrondissement. It's a very immersive way to discover art. And you, you compare and you see, I think, how diverse the artistic offering really is. tend to think of Paris as a city that doesn't change. It means that we're not seeing what else is actually evolving. Food de Pâtisserie is a pastry concept store. They bring together under one roof a couple of signature pastries from a handful of different pastry chefs. And you don't have to go across town to seven different shops to get a taste of some of the, the great things that are being produced in Paris. So people come to Paris expecting Paris as a fashion capital. However, if you scan most streets where there are a slew of shops, many of them are going to be the same brands and boutiques that you'll find in other major capitals. And so people who are coming here expecting to find something very unique that they're not easily going to find anywhere else are sometimes disappointed. And you do need to look a little bit deeper to find that brand that may only be in Paris or may only be in France. So here we are at L'Appartement Cézanne. Cézanne came in at a time when people were really hungry for something unique, well-made pieces that are both elegant and colorful and change from what we usually think of Paris fashion. The new Paris to me is very much full of entre entrepreneurs trying to shake things up, take what is part of French heritage and modernizing it. So Daniel Rose did that with uh, Chez La Vieille, which is a former bistro institution in Léal that was previously owned by a woman named Adrienne. It was almost like a canteen for everybody who worked in the neighborhood. He's essentially reviving something that is not as present as it used to be. Paris never stops surprising me, and it's imperfect, and I think I love the fact that Paris is an imperfect city. It's a city where people live, and I appreciate it far more now that I've created a life here and how it mixes the old and new in really, really special ways. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com, and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.